there. You people can judge me all you want. At least I'm putting myself out there. What are you doing? Okay. Um, you might think my videos are stupid. You might think they're a little crazy. But I want to tell you something. I'm having fun in my home. Not bothering anybody. You don't have to watch it if you don't want to. Or you can. Whatever. Up to you. I just want to tell you something. I'm having fun doing it. Because, um, yeah. I'm safe. I'm silent. I'm lonely. I have nothing to do. So, I want to tell you a little story about running into people that I haven't seen in years. Good music, huh? I know. That's me. That's how I like it. Yeah, it's an infomercial. What have? Um, I run into people that are on my Facebook. Friends. Some people that want to be on my Facebook never talked to me in high school. You know, because gay wasn't cool. And gay wasn't, you know, out there. I was. I was outed in high school. Whatever. We won't get into that. That's a long video. Ain't got no time. But. People that almost didn't even talk to me in high school are watching me now or are friends on Facebook before I start making videos. They want to be my friend. They friend me. And I'm like, why would I friend you if you never talk to me in high school? Whatever. I don't care because I'm forgiving and they didn't know and they were young. And their minds weren't developed. Whatever. Whatever the case might be. Now I'm going to talk about a couple people that did not feel like that or whatever. I'm not saying that about these people. This is something totally different. Since I've been making videos and stuff like that, or just me and Debbie post, you know, that we start posting. Because we didn't go on Facebook right away because we were like, Ugh. you know, we're gay, we're together. And, you know, eight, nine, ten years ago. Eh. But it's become every year, it becomes more and more acceptable, whatever. So lately I ran into a couple people. And when I do, it's people that are my Facebook friends, but I don't see or hang out with on an everyday basis or every month basis. But I ran into a couple people, and you wouldn't believe the things they say to me is one of the first things they say to us, us, me and Debbie together, oh my God, I love your posts on Facebook. I love you guys on Facebook. I mean, Debbie has friends on Facebook that were my friends originally. And became her Facebook friends that she never got to meet. But she is so, they like her pose, they interact on Facebook. This is what's great about Facebook. There's some downsides about Facebook too. But the great thing about Facebook is Debbie has met people through me. Never met them in person. But she became friends with them on Facebook and have an interaction with them. And they become friends. Facebook friends, whatever you want to call it. But they have a, and Debbie feels, you know, like she's close to her, you know, they they would get along if they were to meet, is what I want to say. So, uh, and then, my friends that she became Facebook friends with has passed away. And when I come home and tell Debbie, she is like, I mean, truly devastated that they were going to meet and never got a chance to. It's sad. It really is unfortunate. And she's like, oh my God. You know, there's a certain ones that I've invited to functions and stuff and they couldn't show up. But Debbie was excited to meet because they're friends on Facebook. They never got to meet. There's a couple of those people that she never got to meet that have passed away before she ever got to meet them. It's terrible that on this Facebook thing, people can reach out to each other and do things and be friends with people that they never even met but you know that if you met in person you'd have so much to talk about it's it's really crazy the way social media does nowadays and can do things and bring people together my brother has a friend that has very bad health uh, no family to speak of really and it's just a very lonely guy and you know he's very depressed and now he can't work anymore and things like that but he said when he got Facebook or I don't know who talked him into it getting Facebook 
when he got Facebook, and now he reaches out to people that he knew or whatever, adds them as friends. He said, oh my God, Facebook saved my life. Because other than having social media, he would never have interaction with people. So, I mean, there's good sides, bad sides, bad sides, good sides. You just never know. I mean, you don't, do you? But being someone lonely, maybe, say a paraplegic person. I'm just saying it. I don't know who is, but what if they're sitting at home and they can't do anything but move their hands or do anything or, or verbally speak and do Facebook, do this, do that. And then they thought they were lonely and had nothing and no one to reach out to or no one to talk to. I mean, it can be a very good thing for some people, I guess. You know what I mean? It's got me in uh, contact with family that I never really spent that much time with, uh, friends that really didn't like me or knew they liked me or they thought gay was terrible in high school. Now they think it's cool. You know what I mean? You never know. And those people in high school never knew they might have gay family or gay children or whatever. They just didn't know. So recently, not just recently, the past two times in this week, but through the summer when we go down to Prometica concerts and things like that, and you run into people because they're out and it's hot and free concerts, whatever. Me and Debbie constantly meet people that say, Oh my God, I love your posts. I love watching you guys on Facebook. This before video. I love the things you post. You guys are funny. But this past week, personally, I ran into two people from my past. And I have hundreds of people from my past that, you know, when you're at certain jobs or something, you make concrete relationships with those people. It's a point in time. It's just, it, it's stuck in time. And you're close to them at that time, but life happens, things happen, you move on. You're not in that space anymore. But if you made those friends, those friends will last a lifetime. I mean, wherever you go, even if you're not around them anymore. But Facebook allots you to be around them again. Or at least they can see you and keep up with you. So I seen two people this week. The first things out of their mouth, one by one. One was, oh my God, I love your post on Facebook. Second thing she said is, I am so glad you're happy, Joy. Joy, I am so glad you're happy. I swear to God. How does she know I'm happy? by watching or following me on Facebook or maybe see one of these videos. Then I ran into a good old friend of mine and he said to me, first thing out of his mouth, I loved watching the Super Bowl with you. Now that was from my, my videos. Of course, he follows me. He's a subscriber probably and you should be too. So, I mean, you can say these videos are stupid, but some people I'm really touching with them some people are following me. Some people feel they're not alone because of me. Some people are relating. You don't know. That's what social media is about. Now, everybody's got to sign a contract and get in the uh, Actress Guild to be, uh, you know, a bigwig. I'm not saying I'm a bigwig. I got him, but, you know, you know what I'm saying. The thing about these videos is I love to do them. You don't have to watch them. But some people do, and they enjoy them. Enjoy is the major word. So do what you want to do. Watch or not. Don't matter to me. I'm still going to be here making them. You can be my friend. Or you don't have to. Or you can watch from afar. I've had a lot of people watch me from afar. Say, that joy. Hmm, that gay thing. Huh? Yeah, maybe it's good for me. Oh, hi, husband. Hi. You don't pay attention to me. I'm all... Oh, yeah, uh, Oh, Joy, what are you doing? I've had it. I've had it. Okay? Things happen. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I never did anything. I just live my life. I'm just right here. This is what I'm doing. What are you doing? Tell me what you're doing. Tell me what you're doing that might make a difference in someone's life. I'd love to hear it. Let me know.